then moving on from car breakers to a car maker. The Worldland speed record has always been a prized title. Recent records have been set using jet-powered and even rocket-powered cars. But what might surprise you is that 90 years ago, the record was actually held by an electric car. Back in 1899, Camille Genazzi, a Belgian auto enthusiast, built what was the world's most efficient battery car. It was called La Jamais Contente, which means never satisfied. A fitting name for something which in 1899 became the fastest thing on four wheels when it reached the then staggering speed of 65.79 miles per hour. 90 years on, this is the brainchild of an enthusiastic British engineer, Douglas Lambert. It's a complete replica of Genazzi's car, still powered by batteries and built with the intention of beating Genazzi's 90-year-old record. Genazzi's top speed was 65.79 miles per hour, which is an, an elapsed time of 34 seconds dead. <laughs> The record was in France. So they were more interested in the magic 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, and it was 104 points, So he was the first man in the world to break 100, 100 kilometers per hour. Although the British record will be created on a, a two-way run, the Genazzi record, we've only got to beat it in one direction whichever is our faster run. In, in 1899, records were only in one direction. They didn't, it only came in in about, I think about 1920, but they had to do a, a two-way run. Before then, they weren't bothered. It was just get on a straight road and away you go. Ready when you are. Understood. Hold on. He's going. He's going. He's was the time against the wind and time for the kilo 53.44. I didn't know whether it was a mechanical failure or a battery failure so we've checked the motor it's all right we've changed onto a new set of batteries and I think we're ready we're off. for the flying kilometer was 33.08 seconds and a, a kilometer speed of 108.82 and a miles per hour of 67.62 so he has broken it that's not the record that's done it so Doug had proved that a 90-year-old record was beatable and on the same day he set a whole series of new British records <laughs> Doug Lambert and La Jamais Contente have chosen to celebrate their new record right here in the Record Breaker Studio. Mm. Oh, well done. Well done. Congratulations, Douglas. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. So this is exactly like uh, Genazzi's model of what, 90 years ago? That's right, 1899. Mm. Um, yes, I got the, uh, the original drawings from the French Ministry of Culture. We built it of the same materials. We've used blacksmiths to make the parts. Yeah. We've got the original 
um, castings for the wheels, but the electrics is a little different. He burnt the motors out every time he used it, you see, so uh, I couldn't afford to do that, could I? So, um, so I, 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 altered, I altered it a little. A different type of controller in the back. Yeah, but it hasn't, hasn't made any difference to the power of the oh, car. Oh, no, 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 exactly the same power. It's just um, balanced a bit better. Yeah. yeah. And what about this shape? It, oh, it's yes. very strange, isn't well, it? Well, that's uh, a marine torpedo. Literally. Really? A aerodynamic torpedo, yeah. That's where um, they got it from? Yes. Hence they call it, you know, people call it the bullet or the bomb. Yeah. Little did they know. Anything in the future? Well... It's not called uh, La Jamais Content for nothing. I mean, that means never satisfied. That's me. That's you, never satisfied. So we'll uh, have another go at the record as soon as we can. Well, congratulations and lots of luck in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you. Okay. Right. Well done, guys. Good.